What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm host Rob, aka Star Shadow, and we're continuing on our San Marino challenge in FM21, which is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Simultaneously, take a club based in San Marino all the way to champion Champions League glory. Something that we have accomplished already with a team called San Marino Calcio went defunct in 2019. Uh, but was resurrected in 2021 and can now be found in lower divisions of Italy. So get a database that has that, uh, those lower divisions, you can uh, grab this club too. Anyway, in this uh, this universe, we pumped a ton of money into them and really pimped out the youth intakes and coaching and all that to see if the challenge is even possible because we want to know even with San Marino's youth rating, uh, and one club with stellar youth intakes fund the club, basically fund a nation all the way up the ladder. And um, what we're finding is kind of working right now. We're up to 57th in the world. See, we started down at 202. I took over about here, we're 197th. And we've been on a pretty steady climb, kind of slowing down now as we approach the top 50 but um yeah we've done pretty good we made uh the euros in 2032 we've made uh world cup 2034 made it into knockout rounds of both of those and now we're in nations league a the top level nations league in europe and currently we are still top of the group on goal differential but we are top of the group which is amazing for a club or a nation of our stature. Um, started off with two wins out of two over uh, away at Portugal. Well, obviously, if we're away, we're at Portugal, but uh, a win at Portugal and a win at home over Wales uh, in the first window of Nations League A. Uh, but we started off Nations uh, the second uh, window of Nations League A with a loss to Italy away at Italy in Rome. Not the worst result, but 4-2, not great. Uh, kind of fell apart right around halftime. Um, so, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. So that's a few days later. We're on the road to Wales. Luckily, that means the final window is going to be all at home. So we might be able to make some hay here. But um, going to Wales, got that win at home already once. Um, we might as well see if we can... Take some, take another point here, maybe, maybe three, probably not. Let's aim for a point on the road and see if we can uh, solidify ourselves up here in Nations League A somehow. We got some tire legs, um, especially at the back, but we're gonna need these two as they are our. They got a lot of jumping reach here, 17 and 19. Uh, Wales is probably gonna be playing uh, two strikers that have big jumping reach uh, so we need to be able to combat them in the air so even though they're tired gotta play them uh, Matias Giardi suspended uh, let's go sit down anyway uh, we're gonna restore Gianluca Bellini this is gonna be his opportunity uh, to be considered for the national team again basically uh, if not uh, Nicola Pellegrini could probably be taking over the spot as the backup attacking uh, attacking central midi and you can see he's pretty good, so this is Bellini's chance, and Bellini is not that great, even though he performs, uh, he outperforms his attributes, uh, so we'll see, this is his chance, one more time, one more again, as they say. Uh, Matita Gianni's gonna come in for, uh, Giuseppe Tome, who did not have a good match, former Wonder Kid, Jeff here. he's, uh, pretty solid player, uh, so we're gonna, actually, might... We could play back to back, so we might send him as a ball winner a little bit. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Rick Luigi had a terrible match, but we're gonna give him another shot here, even though we probably should play Diego Berardi instead. But he's tired, a little bit tired, even though he only played, he didn't even play that long. It's weird. All right, um, but yeah, we're bringing in Ugolini. Uh, his chance to claim that starting spot over Lance Ramos who kind of showed up in the end but he's not been all that great for the national team uh, 
um but yeah uh Dario Carboni is gonna get a shot at start uh as the goal scoring forward here as Gonucci is uh on the bench being a little bit tired and we'll move Giardi who had two goals last game uh, over to complete forward give him a shot and see if he can continue that good form Trying to get into a quick look. Five and a half minutes. Uh, so we just looked at this. We're going to start with our balance. Let's play down the left to Ugolini. And uh, yeah, we thought about maybe bringing in Canini, but this would not have been a good one for him. He doesn't jump very well. The 12 for center back, it's probably the minimum I would consider. Uh, but I mean, he's technically pretty good and mentally are developing at 18. But uh, yeah, for, like I said, for this one, Wales is going to be trying to dominate us in the air, so we got to combat that. Alrighty. Alright, let's take a look here. But Wales got. They're tired too, a little bit. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Uh, Jones is either footed, Tom, Tom is left footed, oh, it's right footed. Okay, Ross Shaw, uh, pretty good in the air himself, pretty good athlete, he's at Brighton, uh, not, not a bad striker, not bad. Yeah, uh, no, he's not 29. I was actually expecting, uh, Elian Smolka to play, uh, but he must be tired. Yeah, a little bit tired, so... He'd probably come off the bench. Uh, we are very familiar with Chris Wakeham, who is our one of our starting forwards. Uh, very good, very good, very good, very good, very athletic. Uh, complete forward in all phases. He actually scores a lot of goals. 14 finishing does not tell the story. Oh, uh, actually, I want to check here. We are going to have to hit you. Wakeham, no. Uh, Dean Sullivan. He's not even that good he's athletic he's going that much Hunbury kind of a forward here at Sheffield United pretty athletic um all right so we press the central midfielders Tyler Probert good vision 23 and Jones, winger, it's a free kick taker. Ross Thomas, athletic, good mentals. Doesn't jump very well, that's why he's not center back. Not technically good, he kind of looks like ours. Gifton Potts, other 13 athletes at this level at Leicester here. Um. Solid. Got Price, center back. He can't jump. So it's been a great one for Golanucci. And Evans Hughes, who ooh, he can jump though. Okay, so that would have matched up. He's very athletic. At West Ham. Hmm. 22. He's too old for the club, unfortunately. He's good, actually. San Jeffries is. Uh, is he out of our youth intake, actually? Ah, I don't remember. Did we buy him? Nope, he's out of our youth intake. Uh, he's out on loan right now at Roma. Um, 21. Uh, he is a towering goalkeeper, so he, you see that jumping reach, so he's going to be dominant there. Um, but as a goalkeeper itself, uh, he's improving. He's not very good yet, though. Tells you something about Roma, because he is, I think he's sitting in as their starter. Um, so that's why we're whipping in crosses here against him. He's not gonna not gonna like that too much, I don't think. But she'll see. Let's pile on the misery, shall we? I expect better, and they're not happy about that, of course. Uh, Ross Shaw comes in matching great goal scoring form. Do you have a plan to stop him? Mm -hmm. Uh, Louis is set to make his 50th appearance 
of San Marino. Just how much does he mean to this team? Well, he's probably our best defender at this point. So yeah, he's very important. That's why he's playing, even though he had a bad match last one. Uh, so let's see. On the road. Not always the best on the road. Started off strong against Italy. We scored in the first, what, five minutes was it? Then kind of didn't keep up the intensity. Of course, the freeing didn't help. But we still got outplayed. Deserved loss. Oh, that would have been a great start. That was a good ball on his weaker foot, I gotta say. But I would have expected Giardi to put that away. Right, yep, push him back. Aloichi, very good. At Manchester United, there we go. Giardi, cut inside as I expected. Okay, moving the ball. Hit it hard. Carboni is not great in the air. Got the finishing, though. He's the finisher of our forwards at 16 finishing. His composure is not great, but uh, we can get him an opportunity. He can finish. He does score goals. He, of course, he is also very fast and very good acceleration. Not as good of a dribbler as the other forwards, but that's not to say he's terrible. Still like a 13. And there's Giardi. Gets goal scoring form from us right now. It's going to be three this window. Let's see if we can keep going. Italy getting on top of Portugal. I said they're that it's their bounce back break uh, bounce back. International window here. Rusty! Oh, that's a bomb. Okay, maybe they are. They're up for it today, maybe. Maybe they're up for it. That was a bomb. Alright. Oh, come on. What is that? And... Chiquetti is... I don't know what he's doing with that. That is terrible. Just give it back, why don't you? All starts with... That throw-in that somehow... I don't know what happened there. That was just... FM giving him the ball. They're not doing anything, so... That's just... Giving it to them. Carboni, okay. Jerry's a little bit deep. Come on. We were holding on to the ball and now all of a sudden we can't make a string together two passes. Wakeham just ran through an entire defense there. Not unexpected. He does that to Champions League defenses. So uh, still annoying to have it be done to us. Okay, Jones is tiring out luckily after that. Still room for improvement. Okay, y'all are... You gotta play better. You gotta play better. Can't yell at Chiquetti. He's weak in the mind. And I think I can leave those two alone for right now. No tactical changes yet. We're playing well, other than terrible mistake. That should be a yellow card, right? Yep. Yep. And we didn't create anything from that. Wonderful. Rusty again from outside. Ah. Uh. Might want to actually shoot the ball in sight here because so we know Jeffries is not the best keeper. LVG lost in the air. Another loss in the air. It's not good. When is that terrible? He's not hasn't been great either, which is what we kind of need from an attacker. Uh, how did that not get heckled? The block. Okay, Bellini, you could have done better than that.
There we go. Okay, <laughs> that is <laughs> okay. I said composure. I mean, I didn't mean that. <laughs> there we go, Scotty. Okay, Carboni on the run. This is what we want our forwards to do. With their pace, go all past him. Ah, uh, it's put it on target, man. On target. All we ask. Can't have a shot if you put it on target. Ugolini in the air. Yes. Okay. Just hoping for a little. A little bit more towards Carboni, but I just can't be choosers right now. Oh, that's what is that ball? What was that? Uh, <laughs> tiring, they're tiring. Carboni, yes, good. Better do something here because, uh, about to get subbed off on the C score here. Okay, you just put it on target. Is that yeah, no, that's never gonna work. That's exactly the kind of ball that Jeffrey's gonna eat up. Considering here. Considering. Not gonna have an out ball if I move GRD, but I think we're gonna do this. Looking on Fiorini, play him as a false nine. Can't, his jumping reach is not great. Eight. It's five eight, but he's gonna see pace, acceleration, dribbling. Uh, he, but he can pass, so we can get him in in, in this position, get him running. Maybe we might be able to find GRD. We have a Loey out there to match up with. Wake him in the air. That's why I'm not pulling him. Bolini, very good. See how we run. Yep, like that. That's the ball. GRD cut inside. Okay. Like, eventually. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but I will definitely take that. And that's why we run in Fiorini. That was a good change, as you can see. We have no more players, at least, right? All right, I may want to... Okay, wake him still coming. He's tired, though, so... Okay, there we go. Fiorini, what a ball. And back to him. Give it back to... Yep. Oh, you didn't put it out in front of him. If you did that, he's running through again. Oh. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Smoke goes out there now. Scotty got to take care of it. No, Scotty did not take care of it. What is our captain doing? He just looked at him and went, eh, go ahead and run by, by me. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I should. Oh no, that's our captain. Why? Focus. Why is Getty ever retired? Then hmm? why is Getty tired? Why? Why are you tired, man? Oh, we should be taking care of this. We have an extra man in the midfield. We're like made to work against the 4 4 2. I don't know why. So now they switch to the 4 3 3. Pelicioni here because he is also defensively not the worst not great um, but trying to decide should I drop you two here and let him run here and take care of stuff am 
might be what we do here. Both our guys are a little bit tired here, but uh, I think it'd be good to try and break up some stuff here. It's our, oops, uh, it's our solidity. Formation here. Italy 3 went on Portugal. That will take that against them. Short up, short up. Throw in. Okay, bad boy Fiorini. Hold on to the bull. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you put it in the space at least. At their at. What a ball. Oh my god. How did he not. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Hold on, hold on. Pots came out of freaking nowhere. Okay, is he had about 20-20 speed there? He is dead tired. I mean, he's pretty pacey, so I mean, it's not out of the round, but he's dead tired against the guy who's not tired. That. That is. That is a tackle that. Uh, if my guys made it, would be a penalty. That, <laughs> yeah, we, they, I, uh, what is going on there kind of thing? Cause yeah, that's, yeah, that is not, not just dangerous. It's just not. We can't, we can't make any anything, at, or we get a penalty. I mean, I have surprised that they didn't get one there. But we need our yep. I had a boy Yachty. This is why he's still out there because he's big. We needed that. We needed that, boys. It's a good win away. That's a good win. That is a very good win for us. Proved them all wrong. Except for you. And you. And you. And you. I'm not pleased. But uh, yeah. There's some, some good stuff. Giardi. Thumbs up. Uh, Fiorini came on. <laughs> what, is, what is the first thing he does? Makes a, a great pass to Giardi. Get him into space where he can make a run and score. Yeti and Rusty played very well. That's what we need. Rusty with that freaking bomb from, what, 25, 30 yards out? <sighs> I mean, defensive, what they had to do, they marshaled him in the air at least. I mean, we had the big mistake by LVG in the throw in that gave him a goal. That sucks. But I think this is a deserved win. Uh, Carboni didn't do enough, but that was a great change by me. Thumbs up to me. And yeah, I'm. Giardi Strike gave you an early lead there. Did you feel it would be a good day for your side when you saw that one go in? Well, early goal is a bonus, but you saw that against Italy. It doesn't mean squat unless you keep it up. Uh. Rusty's goal, a well-struck effort into the top corner from 27 yards was one of the highlights. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Doesn't do it enough, but... Man, and uh, that keeps us at the top of the group. Ooh. Italy storming back with a six-point window. Wales getting nothing. Portugal getting three more, so... Uh... Ooh-wee. So we had a referee who did not suck, 8.8, .8, so when that happens, that means good things for us. Wasn't trying to cheat. And so uh, we were able to take advantage of our superiority there. They had the possession, but we did more with the ball. We created the better chances and had the better finishing. Uh, our rotation was a little bit better too, 
so we had fresher players even though maybe not all our players were the freshest they uh were able to last a bit better than there so someone like wickham was tired very early and they lost like Gwyn jones who was uh tired at halftime and who had scored one of the goals so uh that's rough uh but yeah so then uh that's great that might keep us up actually which is not what we were expected that's three wins out of four in nations league a against that group here hmm. we got portugal and italy at home um yeah um that's tough that's gonna be tough some tough matches but we're at home we usually play pretty decently at home so uh we have chance to take points i'm not gonna say we're gonna take like three points or anything from either of these teams but uh if we can get two out of the the two matches that is all we can really all we can ask for there i mean that would be brilliant if we did that i mean that would get us to 11 points right I mean, like I said, we are. Yeah, we're pretty safe. Uh, although, well, I mean, Wales has to win both matches and then overturn a six goal goal difference to to come at us. So I think we're pretty safe, which is more than I was expecting. I was expecting to go into relegation playoff there, but no, or just straight relegation, I guess is what it is. So, um, what is the, what are the rules here? Promoted, no, 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 group 1A, okay. Uh, first goes to the semifinal, and then fourth is relegated. Okay, I thought there might be something going on there. It's 1A, the semifinal, yep. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think, I think we're s pretty safe from relegation. Like I said, I was 100% not expecting that because, I mean, we're definitely outclassed. I guess we're not outclassed by Wales, although their top end players are better than our top end players. Uh, but I guess, I guess we, we ended up matching up pretty well. I know they, they beat us like three to one or something last time we faced them a few years ago. So I was a bit nervous about it. Uh, but I'm kind of surprised they're falling off a little bit with, with some of those players they got that are real good. But I mean, they're playing Jeffries as their starting keeper, which he's not ready yet. He needs a couple more years in the oven before he's ready to, to be at this level. So that maybe that's what's holding them back. But ooh. I mean, we still got young players coming in for ourselves. Uh, that would be wonderful if we could continue on like that. But um. Yeah, was, so we'll definitely have time at this point to continue on through Nations League A in the next window. Uh, like I said, it's saying FM23 is coming out. Actually, it is out now. And uh, we want to start doing some stuff with that. I mean, we're not going to be doing anything long term yet. I'm planning on doing something there. That's a, a long term save, but we're going to wait. Uh, give that a patch or two before we we start anything there but we have a lot of work we want to do before we get to that uh we'll talk about that at some point in the future but uh there's also some uh other things i want to do with full of measure 23 including um looking at scouting and team reports and trying to see how things uh kind of kind of stack up there that's going to be a lot of work and <laughs> especially from the video making perspective so um that that's in the future so we'll see how that goes uh but yeah thank y'all for hanging out watching uh should we do the press conference it's gonna come up if i do this right uh sam ran and he's 20 us they're actually in third place in u21 that tells you that and this is what uh really shows the strength of our youth uh academy or the club is that uh the national team of course is taking all the best players and still a lot of our best players are still young you saw a few 19 year olds on the team and about 20 20 um so they would be playing for the under 21s uh but even still the under 21s have started to be decent even even without those players so there's some depth behind them like 
there's not a, a, like the players aren't all like great or anything they're, like not all gonna make it to uh the senior side in fact most of them won't but there are a few players that probably will uh paulo giulianelli uh has a chance uh gasparoni 17 has a chance he's got a lot of potential as a striker uh berardi has got a cap already uh he's got a ways to develop if, if he's gonna do anything he's 20 starting to get late for him valentini who we thought might be a super goalkeeper looks like he might not be uh but he might have a chance uh Tia agarici has a chance he's decent at 18. he's not on the superstar path but uh, can't really pass but uh there's definitely a chance for him to make squad so there's depth here um and that's what's showing so i mean even with just one youth intake we're starting to show that there's it just one really good academy may is enough to really start getting your nation in the right direction so um if you want to build a nation um youth training is not as important uh, as having a one club with a really good academy because that can that can really push you off push you to high spots just by itself and that's really one of the lessons that we've learned um i would like to take this because i think we actually on what we are seeing i'm not, not sure that we would get to number one with this um it would be close. I mean, once you start getting into the top 20 or so, it starts becoming managerial. I mean, we're never going to have the talent that the top 10 teams have. But we are looking like we'll have good talent and enough talent that with good managerial, we might be able to get enough wins to um, get to that spot. Uh I mean, as you can see, our players are not the best. We think we're probably about where we are talent-wise, maybe a little bit worse than where we are talent-wise. Like, I think we are, we're a top 30 team, I think is what we are. Um, and we haven't quite gotten the youth talent-wise to really push much higher than that. Uh, but our ranking hasn't quite caught up to it. Uh, but with what we do managerially, uh, tactically, and such, is fits what what the players are, and so we are punching above our weight a bit. Um, so, I said, I think uh, it, there's every opportunity that, given enough, enough time, which I don't have, um, that this team could get to number one. Um, but uh, we'll continue pushing at least a little bit further and see what we can get before we make the switch over to uh, FM23 for the new uh, thing I'm gonna do, which I don't wanna talk about quite yet. So uh, thank y'all for watching and supporting and just seeing what's going on here with our San, Mar San Marino team. Um, I said we were gonna, we could do the press conference. So uh, just wanna take a look at the news here. San Marino squad react positively to real Wales. I would hope so. Bayern Munich kiss after Chris Wakeham. Not gonna happen. They don't have enough money. Even though he's unambitious, he has still been improving. He's still very good. Still our best striker. Uh, Sam Jeffries, of course, did not play well. 6.0, that's about right. Uh, he's on a low worry. Oh yeah, you're at Roma. Um, but he is getting time. He is playing, so that's good. He probably won't make the great the club, but it's always good to see youth products go and be pretty good. Um, so let's see if we can get the press conference right away. Uh, the next day, uh, in in game is actually Champions League uh, match because, like I said, the schedules are all kind of screwed up here. Uh, thought that would give me a press conference, maybe not then. Okay. All right. So that's going to do it here. Really, like I said, really appreciate you watching and supporting and all of that. So, um, if you are enjoying yourself, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Any of the videos you watch here, including this one, uh, much, 
love and appreciation to all the subscribers already here. It's definitely crazy to have even 50 subscribers, which I would never have thought we've ever gotten so much love and appreciation because it just really means a lot to have that much support. Uh, there's links in the description of the videos to Twitch and Twitter if you want to come hang out a little bit. Um, stream a little bit here and there. Of course, it's at terrible times, but like I've said previously, I have a full-time job and I'm a father, so I don't have a lot of time to spend uh, streaming, so kind of get it in when I can, just like I get recording these videos in when I can. Uh, so, yeah, if you'd like, come hang out, play other games besides if I'm on stream, so um, never know what we'll be playing, so definitely uh, come hang out a little bit. And that is going to do it, so um, we're pushing on some more next episode we'll get back into national uh nations league a and we'll finish up with our matches against uh, portugal and italy at home so we'll see how that goes so thank you all once again for hanging out stay good stay safe stay well stay healthy out there i'll see all of y'all next time <laughs>